When we talk about the most prolific Italian strikers of recent decades, many names come to mind. Fieri, Totti, Baggio, Del Piero, Cassano, Tony. But when it comes to the term poacher, only one name comes to mind. Filippo Inzaghi, known as Super Pippo. It's important to remember that a poacher is a type of striker who is hated by defenders for his ability to score when he is least expected. Inzaghi knew how to make himself forgotten, how to sneak in and how to be cunning, better than anyone else. When Pippo was hanging around the box, the net was often shaking. This kind of striker known as the old style exists less and less. Since his retirement, what other striker knows as well as he does how to appear from nowhere to score a killer goal? Can we consider Filippo Inzaghi as the last poacher? Subscribe to Megafoot, the best of football in video. Super Pippo started playing football at a young age as a goalkeeper. Disgusted with the task of getting the ball into his own net, he soon decided to become a striker instead, pushing the ball into the opponent's goal. Good for him. He never regretted his decision, even if his rise to the top level took time. Until he was 22, he languished in second and third division clubs without really impressing. After yet another unsuccessful venture, he was transferred to Atalanta Bergamo, who were fighting to stay in Series A. In a surprising and spectacular move, he became the league's top scorer with 24 goals in 33 games. Voted best young player in the league, he was transferred to Juve. He won the Scudetto in his first year, scoring a string of brilliant goals. Inzaghi confirmed all the hopes placed in him. His sense of goal and his positioning skills were impressive. A specialist in call and response, he tormented opposing defences. Even if he's not the fastest, he loves to go to the edge of the offside line to ask for the ball in depth and offer himself a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, from which he often emerges victorious. Even if he's not the most skillful dribbler, all he needs is a perfectly executed directed control to open up the goal. Simple, sober, precise, efficient, a pure nine. For four years, Pepper will make the Bianconeri fans stand up. But the arrival of Frenchman David Trezeguet, an equally talented poacher, pushed him to join AC Milan. It is now at the San Siro that Super Pippo continues to scare opposing defenses. Pippo's secret is now known throughout Europe. Limit his touches of the ball to a strict minimum. Watched like the White Wolf, it is nevertheless very difficult to defend against him. Indeed, the exacerbated sobriety of his technical palette is not so simple to execute. Even if he's not the tallest, he knows how to slip between the two center defenders to place a header. Unstoppable, the right move every time. But this simplicity is even more difficult to defend because he is always one step ahead. He sees everything before anyone else. Super Pippo's exploits will remain forever engraved in the memory of the AC Milan Tafosi. With Andrei Shevchenko as his attacking partner, they form one of the most prolific duros in Europe. With the help of strong men in every position, such as Gustavo, Maldini, Kaka, Sirdorf, and Perlo, he lifted the Champions League in 2003. Not yet 30 years old, Pippo was at the top of his game. But serious injuries slowed him down. In the 2004-2005 season, he scored only one goal. That same year, in the Champions League final, he watched from the stands as his team lost to Liverpool. But Super Pippo knew that his style of play, based mainly on precise positioning and agility in the final movement, would enable him to come back. So with the support of his coach Carlo Ancelotti, he picked up where he left off, a peerless striker who never missed an opportunity to shine. Like a fine wine, Pippo improves with age. He never loses sight of his opponent's position to better deceive him and continues to impress. He once held the record for the top scorer in European Cups, 50 in the Champions League and 20 in the Europa League. And he takes advantage of European tournaments to light up the stadiums of the old continent with a thousand lights. In the 2007 UEFA Champions League final, he scored twice against Liverpool. His two cold-blooded goals avenged his team after the terrible disappointment of 2005. A class act. From 2008 to 2009 season onwards, the AC Milan team was reshuffled. Key players leave, Pippo stayed, but played less. 
And even if he's confined to the role of luxury joker, he never disappoints when he returns to the field. His performance coming off the bench is impressive. With his trademark relaxed finishing, he scored 13 goals in 26 games. Pippo was now over 35 years old and he continued to score all over Europe. After a defeat with OM, where Inzaghi scored twice, Didier Deschamps said, With a player like Inzaghi, it's the efficiency that speaks for itself. As it is often the case, Italian realism makes the difference. Realism and efficiency, two words that perfectly describe Super Pippo. From the 2010s, Inzaghi, who was thought to be eternal, was finally caught by the weight of the years. His body fails him yet again. Despite yet another extension at his beloved, loved club, a series of injuries slowly pushed him towards the end of his career. At the end of the 2011-2012 season, yet another physical ailment made the Rosaneri people fear that the club's iconic player would leave the game by the back door. But the class and self-sacrifice of this unique striker led him to return. On the last day of the season, with his eyes full of tears, he came in during game time on a standing ovation from the San Siro. Although he had announced a few days earlier that this match would be the last of his career, he scored a goal, as if it were obvious. It were a fitting end to the career of Super Pippo. This number 9 with his polished movements is still remembered today for his ability to get rid of his opponent's markers and always find himself in the best position to score. In all, he scored more than 300 goals in his career, simply monstrous. Which poacher do you think is as realistic as Super Pippo? Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't hesitate to talk about our channel around you, to like it and to share it. See you soon for a new video. Ciao!